Hi everyone, Metal Breakdown here, so welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are here to discover a brand new Kill Switch Engage song. Uh, but before we do that, I just want to talk about Unleashed a bit. Uh, because yeah, if you watch my reaction for it, if you haven't, it will be there at the end of this video, so don't worry. But yeah, if you have watched it, uh, you know that uh, at first I liked the song, but I was not like 100% in, and I was not like, oh, this will be the greatest album of all of all time. I'm so, so, so excited for Atonement. No, it was not like that because yeah, I liked the single at first, but not that much. Uh, after a couple of listen, I think I even uh, commented on the video again saying, oh, after all the song grew on me a lot, now I'm fully on board. Uh, so that was like maybe two days after uh, the song was out or even on the same day after listening to it a couple of times. But after a while now, that was a couple of weeks ago, I think two or three, three weeks ago, uh, the replay value was not that time because there's not a lot of time that I said to myself, oh, I need to went back to listen to Unleash again because it's such a great song that did not really happen. And uh, in the past two, three weeks, I've listened to a lot of music, so it's not only because I was like in a phase where I was not listening to listening to a lot of music. That was not the case. So I would say the replay value for Unleash was not that great. I listened to it uh, right before I'm doing this video to truly uh, understand now how I, how I feel about it. It's a great song, but not more than that. And yeah, I understand why it's the first single. It's super catchy, uh, super melodic. Uh, it works really well on Octane. Uh, and I understand why they did that, but now I'm hoping for some heavy stuff and hopefully we'll get bad guys with this uh, new song, I Am Broken 2. Uh, it's a short one, I think it's like two minutes and a half or something like that, so since it's a short one, I think it will be heavy uh, because, you know, usually when Ben uh, do like some really short songs, it's super straight to the the point right in your face so hopefully they will do that with this one we'll find out right now so let's do this for the review and the reaction of i am broken 2 by kill switch engage from their upcoming album atonement coming out in august so this is pretty heavy it does not really sound like Kill Switch though, so I'm really curious to see where this will go. Beautiful by Je a voice by Jesse though. Okay, I love the voice of Jesse, but this is not heavy. It's the kind of song like always from the Incarnate album, really melodic song. So this is really not the heavy type of song I was expecting and I was wishing for it, but it's pretty good, so yeah, I don't know what to think so far. The lyrics are also really good, really touching, really emotional. I love the content of this song, of this song lyrically. Yeah, Jesse is so impressive in this track, it's crazy. He's really the MVP of this song, I Am Broken 2. Yeah. Beautiful song, I think I love it more than uh, Unleashed already, but I'll go more in deep at the end of this song. Broken just like you. So, this is how they decided to end the song. Pretty cool, really short and sweet one. Uh, like I said, it's probably the Always of Atonement uh, because, yeah, Always was in Disarm the Descent, uh, which was a great ba kind of ballad because Kill Switch Engage does not really do like traditional ballads, but still, for them, I could consider this song almost as a ballad. It's still pretty heavy, well for other bands, for Killswitch it's a really soft and melodic song. But yeah, I was expecting a super heavy banger, like straight in my face, 
it's not the song I got, but I'm not disappointed. This is really good. And I think only after one listen, I prefer this song over Unleash. So if we only have Unleash and this song that are suffer on the album and the rest are bangers, uh, I feel like we could get a really fucking good album. Uh, there's three songs between Unleash and I Am Broken 2 on the album. The Signal Fire featuring Howard Jones. Us Against the World and The Crownless King featuring uh, Chuck Billy from Testament. So I feel like these three songs will be heavy as fuck. So I'm not worrying about uh, this album anymore, guys. I'm sure it will be crazy. Uh, this song was great, really giving me hope for the rest of it. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with what they did here. Uh, it will work well as a single and I'm not disappointed, even though I was hoping for an heavy song. But I'm sure we'll get that later. Uh, they'll probably have at least one other single before the album drops. So maybe the next one will be heavy as fuck. I just hope they won't release the song with Howard as a single. I want to keep that surprise for uh, when we'll have the album in full. So we'll see guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely happy with this song today. I'm sure a lot of people will disagree because I'm sure a lot of people were wishing just like me to have a super heavy song this time around. It was my wish, I did not get it, but still the song is super good, so I cannot complain and it's even better than Unleash. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say guys. Uh, if you have not watched my reaction to Unleashed, like I said, I'll put it in the last 20 seconds of this video, you'll be able to click on it right away and watch it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe because there's more Kill Switch Engage reactions coming on this channel and I'll do an album review of Atonement in August when the album will be released so you don't want to miss that so uh, destroy that subscribe button you can even like the video if you want that would be cool and I'll see you all next time take care